Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. And today I'm going to show you how to make an Adonis admin logger. Um, it's very simple, so I'm just going to get started right away. So the first thing you want to do is go get my webhook servers v3 module. If you don't have it already, it'll be in the description. Um, insert this in server script service, and then also insert a script like that, and then put that in the script. This is going to be our main, our main script. So we have to define some stuff. So we'll define local URL equals, and then we'll put your webhook URL in there later. Now we get some services. So local players equals game get service players local discord equals require script that webhook service local market service equals game get service marketplace service and then local replicated storage equals game get service replicate storage now we have some variables uh we have to insert adonis so just go to workspace and type in Adonis admin in the toolbox and get the one made by this dude. I don't know how to say his name, but that's the real one. Insert that. And then you can delete the thumbnail camera. And then make sure at the top of the script in the loader, go to loader folder and then go to dropper. At the top of the script, type game run service. Run service dot heartbeat wait like that or else the script won't work now that we have that back in our server script you want to do local c equals workspace dot adonis loader dot config dot settings clone and then local admin equals require c dot settings settings okay now we're going to do the function to get rank like we did in the last video where basically we check the rank of the player. It's just a function to see if they're admin or not. It's local get rank player. If game dot creator ID equals equals player dot user ID, then return true end. Oh, wait, I didn't do function. I didn't put function. Got to put function. There we go. And then put that in there. For tier comma s in pairs admin dot ranks do now for underscore comma p in pairs s dot users do do all right if type of p equals equals string then if p lower equals equals player dot name lower then return true now under this end you want to do else else if two number p then if p equals equals player dot user id then return true so that's that function done now we have to do if is a command, which is only a couple lines. Local function is command player message. If string dot sub message one one uh, is not equal to admin admin dot prefix, then return false end. If not get rank player, then return false end and then return true so basically this um if the player if none of this is true then it's going to return false but if all this is true then it returns true underneath all this that's it's just pretty simple so now we're going to do the main handler function which is basically the function that sends the discord webhook uh so you just want to do local function uh main handler p message and then if is a command, if is command, p message, then now we're going to get our fields. So we're going to do local fields equals. And these fields are what we're going to send in the webhook, like as different sections. So you want to open a table like that. 
and then you want to put like another table bracket in there and then press enter that was like two tables inside of each other and then you want to do the square brackets and do name equals command comma and then enter value equals message comma and then inline equals true comma now you want to put a comma after this bracket go down do the same thing with the curly brackets and then the same thing with the square brackets name equals user id value equals player dot user id inline equals true and now we're going to add one more field which is server size so name equals server size wait i didn't add another table name equals server size value equals hashtag game dot players get children hashtag before it basically just gets the amount the number of it so it's pretty self-explanatory and then inline equals true now underneath the fields at the end of the fields this is where we're going to send the message so discord create embed url title is going to be adonis command used and then a comma p dot name two dots to concatenate and then um quotation marks used a command with adonis and then fields and then image i'm gonna use the adonis uh admin logo image so i'll just put the url right there you don't have to do that but if you do and you want it to look nice make sure you open the webhook server script and go down to where it says create embed that function and right here um it'll say it'll say image and you want to change the thumbnail like that so it goes on the side to like a big image at the bottom now we're almost done we need the player address function and then now we need to uh do the local script to make it work for the command bar so players dot player added connect function function player player dot chatted connect function message and then main handler player message and then replicate storage and then now in replicate storage we're going to create a script let me delete all this stuff that's from previous so you want to create not a script you want to create a remote event and name it logger event capital l capital e like that so do replicated storage dot logger event dot on server event colon connect main handler like that make sure there's no like brackets at the end of main handler that's a server script done aside from our url now you want to insert a local script and starter player scripts and you want to do this so basically this is going to check for the command bar so we can also see the commands that are used in there so i'm just going to copy the the services that we put in here players like that all we need is players and replicate storage now we need a couple of variables so we're going to do ui debounce and timer so local ui equals nil the ui is going to be the command bar and right now it's nil because it doesn't exist right now local db for debounce equals false debounce is basically cooldown and local timer equals 0 0.5 the timer is the cooldown time so now we do game get service run service dot render stepped colon wait and then four underscore comma v in pairs local player game dot players dot local player dot player gui get children do if v find first child entry then ui equals v so basically if it finds the command bar which is named entry then it'll set the variable ui to that now we want to do look game dot players dot local player uh dot player gui dot child added colon connect function 
if the wait for child entry with capital E one, then UI equals V. Oh, wait, I forgot. I forgot to put V. So you have to put V in here in this uh, the little function brackets. Put V right there. Now we want to do repeat task dot wait task dot wait until UI. So it's just repeating wait until the UI exists, and then UI dot frame dot text box dot changed connect function. If db then return n. So basically, if it's on cooldown, then don't do anything. Game get service run service dot render step wait. If hashtag ui dot frame dot scrolling frame get children equals equals zero, then db equals true. Replicate storage dot logger event fire server ui dot frame dot text box text box dot text task dot delay timer function like that and db equals false oh wait you gotta put a comma right there okay now that's all everything done now let me just put my webhook url in here real quick okay so i have my webhook url in here now i'm gonna go ahead and test it uh let me delete that no that's adonis i don't know why i deleted that okay so you can go ahead and click play and then once you use a command i'll use fly me like that it'll send it in the discord server it'll send it into the discord server right here it says snark used a command with adonis Command fly me user ID equals the user ID in the server size like that. Um, so ba basically that's it. If you're watching this video the day it's uploaded, the free model is not going to be my server. It's only going to be in my plugin and video scripts. That's why I showed you how to make it. Uh, so you can join my server. Link in the description below. If you want to get the model, uh, the free model, you're going to have to wait though. Uh, or else you can just follow the instructions in the video. But yeah, if this video helped you, join the server, subscribe, and yeah.